This morning on Let's Chat, we are gearing you up to go fast for the Food City 300 at Bristol Motor Speedway. And did you know today is International Tequila Day? We'll show and tell and maybe do a little sipping. <laughs> It's also almost time. We still have a few weeks, but the Minority Health Fair mm -hmm. is coming around the corner. What is that, you might ask? We'll tell you. We have all of that and more straight ahead this half hour on Let's Chat. Welcome to Let's Chat, the Tennessee Valley's premier show focusing on lifestyle and entertainment with Jess Raby and Chip Chapman, bringing you smart shopping tips, community events, and the newest trends. Now, Let's Chat. Let's chat. Let's chat. You heard chat. the man. Let's chat. Let's do it. Uh, by the way, we will be rejoining CBS for the um, Mueller hearings coming up here at the bottom of this hour. So just want you to know. That's it. Exactly. All right. What do we have here to kick things off? All right. Well, dinosaurs, you know. <laughs> in movie theaters, we're used to seeing dinosaurs chasing after the good guys. And we're like, no. Correct. Don't get them. Right? Yep. Well, there's a new video that's come around. There is a new video, and it comes from across <laughs> the pond over in England. So it was the good guys doing the chasing in this hilarious dash cam video tweeted by police in Plymouth, England. The officers chuckle hysterically while marveling at the inflatable dino's <laughs> survival skills. Yeah, you got to wonder. Um, this thing was uh, <laughs> going on a pretty good cliff, wasn't it? does make you wonder how they became extinct if they could move like that. The cops later tweeted the video confirming that, do you think he saw us? The name of the dinosaur. Yep. <laughs> it's in fact not instinct. Do you extinct. think he saw us? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Kind of looks like that great big chicken just off 285 in Atlanta, doesn't it? It looks like sort of. the way he's running and the head's back, it looks like he's going, ah! Yep. And he probably <laughs> was. No word on how or why the... Uh, do you think Esaurus was being chased by the um, law authorities? Cool story. I wanted to share this with you because I know you're a dog person. Yes. A little bit uh, earlier in the week, man's best friend helped pull off the big question. Oh. He popped the big one. Joel Booth and Katie Latimer had been dating for about three years, and then Joel decided to pop the question. But in so doing, he knew it had to be done in a very special way. So he got some friends to help pull this off. He bought a new golden retriever puppy a week before the proposal. Friends kept the dog for Joel so Katie didn't find out about the secret. Mm -hmm. Joel had Katie under the impression they were doing a photo shoot. But during that shoot, as you saw in some of the pictures, he brought out the puppy. And on the collar the little puppy was wearing, it said, Katie, will you marry me? And that's when he got down and went more of the uh, traditional proposal route, down on bended knee. He flashed the ring, and by looking at no. these pictures, I'm thinking that she said yes. I'm done. Look how happy the puppy, even the puppy's yep. happy for them. Sure. And you that's know, precious. guys, you know as well as I, just to cover yours a second, guys, you know as well as I do that a new puppy, especially a Golden Lab puppy like that, it's a chick magnet. Uh, yes. How do they you say are. no? I mean, they really are. How do you say no to... You know, oh, whatever? I have to... Every yeah. dog I see, I have to stop and pet. And, yeah. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. So we will try and keep you posted on the uh, progress of Joel and Katie. Maybe they'll they have the puppy the in the wedding. Yeah, could be a ring bearer. Yes. I've actually known of a wedding where a dog, a well-behaved service dog, was the ring bearer. Yeah. And I thought, how cool is that? We wanted to yeah. have our puppy in our wedding. Mm-hmm. But, but he was like a year old lab, so that was uh, never going to happen. He's a little wild. All righty. So uh, <laughs> anyway, there's an idea for you. Thinking about getting married, you have a well-trained, well-behaved yeah. dog. Yeah, if you need to pop the question. Consider the ring bearer you know, thing. All right. That's a good way. Right here in Tennessee, over in Memphis, over in Bluff City, there's a man known as Back It Up Terry. Okay. Terry getting a brand new set of wheels. Here's the story. A couple of years ago... And the guy's name, by the way, is Ontario Davis. Um, he went viral for all the wrong reasons. Oh, I remember this now. He and his cousin were setting off fireworks, and the fireworks display got out of hand. He was too close, and the cousin kept yelling, Back it up, Terry! Back it up, Terry! But because there was a malfunction in his wheelchair, he was unable to do that, and he got severely burned. Mm -hmm. I remember that now. 
So they established a GoFundMe page, and guess what? It's got about $40,000 in it. And Jess has the best part of this story. So the company who created the malfunctioned chair that you see in the video saw the GoFundMe page and gave Davis a brand new wheelchair for no cost. Yeah, that was the right thing for them to now do. Now Terry will be backing it up all mm -hmm. over town. No wonder, or excuse me, no word on exactly what caused that malfunction in the wheelchair. Right. But uh, we're glad he wound up getting Yay. a new wheelchair and the wheelchair company stepped up. Absolutely. Did the right what thing. What a nice, wish more companies would do that. What, do the right thing? Yes. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Absolutely. But anyway, uh, job well done to them. And uh, Terry. Congrats to Terry. Stay away from those fireworks displays. Yeah, maybe not set off fireworks again, Maybe though. not set off fireworks. Yeah. Leave it to the pros. <laughs> Speaking of pros, the folks at the, uh, uh, they're doing a minority health fair. We're going to be talking mm -hmm. with a couple of folks here, including Dr. Damian Brown a little bit later on about the importance of that and how you can get involved. And of course, um, Bristol <laughs> coming up. Speaking of professionals, let's let the professional driver do yeah, Bristol, not us. No kidding. And it is <laughs> International Tequila Day. Perfect. Did you know that? You ready to celebrate? Am I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always ready to celebrate. <laughs> you hang in there and spend the next 30 minutes with us and let's chat.